Ladies and gentlemen, there are so many customization tools in Bluehost to make your website unique. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to edit that website so you can make your website your own. Are you ready? Let's go. So to begin editing your Bluehost website, you're going to over to the left hand side and you're going to click on websites. Right from here, you will see a list of your websites and you can simply click edit site. Now this is by WordPress, so you will be redirected to WordPress's admin page, which looks like this, and you'll see your sites available over here. Simply click on edit your site. You're going to be taken into their site builder or their editing page. Now this is what my site looks like, and there's a few different options here. The first thing is on the right hand side, you will see a few options up at the top and this panel will open up your settings. You can see that you can manage all the settings of your page. You can also manage all the settings of a specific block that you will select. So we've selected this image over here and here you can see all of the settings. So you can edit everything on the right hand side. And then there are some additional options just above the image itself. The same goes for text. You'll see just above here, there's some options as well as some options on the right hand side. You can see that you can change all of that. If you're clicking on a section, as I'm clicking here, you will see that you can change the way items are grouped together. And then you can also change their layout as well as the way they look and feel. Over on the left hand side, right at the top, there are a few options. So there is a plus icon here. You will be able to add new blocks into your website. So you can see that there are numerous blocks as well as a search bar to search for specific blocks. You also have patterns and patterns are basically built blocks or built sections that you can add in and then you can go and just customize them. And then we have media that we have uploaded and we can just drag our media directly from here into our website. You also have this selection or editing tool. So if you select either one appropriately, it'll give you a few other options. So once you are done with all of the editing, you can go up to the top right hand side, click on save, making sure that you are saving the changes you've made to your website.